Well, hello friends, neighbors, John your neighbor here. Welcome down in the nook and welcome to a walkthrough of discontinued Ben Reek bottles. I apologize, but these have all been on my shelf. I've talked to you about batch two cast drinks and I just, I need to talk to you about them. You can still maybe find them in Alberta, but if you can't, still fun to talk some whiskey. So we're gonna walk through Ben Reek 10, the Curiositas edition, then the Ben Reek uh, cast drink batch one and batch two. All these bottles, this is stamped 2016, 2016, 2017, so they're a little old, but it's still fun to sip some whiskey on a Saturday. Why don't you pour a little Ben Reek and come on back. Three, four. for coming back. Uh, I'm so sorry I didn't shoot this earlier. I, I just missed that I couldn't get any more. I bought these all last year. So it's not, uh, well, uh, a couple of them I bought maybe two years ago, but they've been open about a year. The first one I want to talk about is this Ben Reek Curiostas. It's a 46 percenter. All of these from their floor maltings and natural color non-chill filter. This one, 46 percent, definitely celebrates that it is a peated malt. Now, a lot of conflicting information online. I found several sites that said it's ex-bourbon, but I found another couple of good sources that said there's ex-bourbon, there's a bit of virgin oak, and there's a bit of ex-rum casks in here. So we've got an age stamp. These are all perfectly non-chill filtered natural color. This Curiostas, 10 years old. Let's try it on the nose and palate. That is nice, nice smoke uh, and a little bit of uh, kind of an earthiness. There's a sweetness right away too though, so it kind of jumps around between sweet, malt, smoke, uh, earthy, smoldery peat. At least on the nose, it's not, um, it's, it's not medicinal, it's, it's far more that earthy. Well, okay, there's an edge of iodine in there. I can say that, but it's also sweet. And I didn't know until quite recently that there might be some extra rum in there. And I would have just said it's a sweet honeyed malt, but it's not really honey, it's something else. Now that I have it in my head, maybe it's a bit of rum note. Okay, it's a little bit minty. Huh. Let's jump in. Hope you got some nice scotch. Slodja. Tasty dram. It's a little bit hot. In fact, it's um, for being open a year, it's surprisingly still a little punchy, a little sprightly, a little green. It's got a kind of a fresh cut apple, light sweet pear, um, but a greenness to it as well. Now, some of that peat is like a, hmm, how would I say that? A little bit, not maybe brine, but not like that would be salty. Well, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit sweet sour. There's it. So I'm not virgin oak coming through now. A nice oak, oak presence. I should have talked finish now that I've had a few sips. It's got, it's got some more of that smolder. It is a little bit. Now there is some medicinal, but it's got a little bit of a, what did I just talk to you recently about? Springbank and another reviewer actually said that. So maybe that's in my head, but it's got a little bit of um, slight, uh, industrial type, a little bit of fuel oil in there, that kind of thing, but in a good way. I'm, I'm sad that it's taken me so long to talk to you about this because now I, I can't guarantee it's on the shelf. I had a store that had a bunch of them around, but it's probably gone and I've said it incorrectly before. If you can find it, I'd check it out. It is a little bit, it tastes more like a eight year old or something a little bit younger. Uh, but it's got a really nice interplay of malt and, and a sweetness that comes through. Maybe it is X rum. I can't guarantee that. And it's not on their site anymore as it's long gone. If you find it though, I think it'd be worth checking out. It's pretty cool. All right, let's stay in peat, but look at this uh, cast strength. So this is uh, Ben Riek cast strength batch one. Again, they're all natural color, non-chill filtered. And uh, this one, I'm pretty sure is uh, some some ex bourbon and some ex sherry, but now that I say that, I don't know. It doesn't celebrate 
um, triple cast like this last one, I know for sure what it is, uh, but I couldn't find enough good detail on this. Now it celebrates the previous owner, because of course now Ben Riek is owned by Brown Foreman, but at this point, it even says right on there, Billy Walker, this is uh, before the sale to Brown Foreman. It's 56, 57, 56, 56%. And again, was actually rather affordable in my market when I bought it, it was even on sale. I feel like that's that's hard to say these days, but let's see what this full peat 56% expression is like. Well, it has echoes of this. It's quite a bit more um, lemon and lighter fruit. This is sweeter and a little bit smokier. Yeah, in direct comparison, that's the note that stands out. A little bit of um, lemon tart, you know, some of that bit of a crust and then some lemon and meringue because it's got some sweetness. Yeah, surprising amount. Try it on the palate. Sancha. We've stepped up. 10% uh, more ABV, right? So that's that's a significant bump. So I'm getting more heat and more impression of spice. But the first dram also had less fruits. In fact, maybe everything I know about this is actually wrong. It It is drinking a lot like ex-bourbon. Just ex-bourbon. A little bit like toffee. There's some more vanillas. A little bit more floral, a little bit more lemon. Malt is stronger. This one, even though this is peated and, and there's peat playing around in here, it's staying more um, heathered peat. This had a little more fuel oil in it. And and um, it's this isn't a heavy peat, this Curiosus, but for some reason it's speaking louder. That's not true. This is a lot of, a lot of those, you know, smoldery flavors but it doesn't have as many layers as the uh, Curiostis. Not bad, uh, certainly not complaining for the price I managed to pick this up at, although it's long gone, so I don't want to share it. And, you know, I can put some water on here and get it maybe where I want. If you're looking for, and you see this around and you like a little more lemon forward, a little more, um, uh, yeah, malt, it's uh, it's not bad. The last one on this Ben Riek, but they're all discontinued whiskeys, is the Ben Riek, uh Batch 2. Now this one is uh, a little stronger, 60.6%. And uh, this one I, I could easily find the cast on. I believe it was ex-bourbon, ex Oloroso, and then some virgin oak in there. Um, this had, I think, virgin oak, but maybe had some ex-rum and ex-bourbon. And this one, I thought it had um, some sherry in there, and maybe it did, but it spoke like an ex-bourbon. Coming back to this one, 60.6%. Uh, and it, uh, what else? And it has those casks. Let's get into the scotch on the nose. Oh, that's very different than these two. These two really felt like siblings. Far more lemon custard, a little more richness. This, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting fruit notes. I'm getting berries. Getting, you know, jam, some raspberry, but I'm also getting, also getting a little bit of um, soap notes, which I, I don't really appreciate it. I thought I'd like this in the past. Now this one's been open the longest of these three and it's the lowest in the bottle. So could be some oxidation, old bottle effect. But right now the fruit's nice, but there's something that's putting me off. Maybe a sip will help. Svanja. So it has more um, uh, ginger, nutmeg, graham cracker, biscuit. Some of the vanilla that I was getting in here, some vanilla biscuit type, you know, those, those little wafers. Another quick sip. I've had these open for a year. So I've had sips throughout the year for sure. And, and my memory would have put this significantly higher than it is today. Right now, this is running hot. Thankfully, that note on the nose has disappeared in the palate and it's not kicking around, it's not in the finish, so it makes me wonder where that came from. But today, just it's always just today and it's always just my, uh, my uh, tasting, like my preference. Um, I'm really liking the peated versions of Ben Riek here 
And even though I'm a sucker for cast strength, this Curiostis is really good. Ah, it's got some just nice smoke. Coats well, doesn't overpower. Some good layers and that sweet, sweet malt balances some of that smoke. This is a good bottle. I'm sorry to shoot these so late because now I'm not sure you can still get them. Might be kicking around Western Canada. I know there was quite a few bottles for quite some time. I'd look for that one. This one is good. This one's a four and a quarter. Uh, this probably four today and this is slipping down a three and three quarter just to sort of that's sort of my preference that's it today so thanks for joining me for this walkthrough of ben rick i gotta get faster at shooting things if they're disappearing because of course these are all even if they were released after the purchase i think these were designed or came out under billy walker whereas uh rachel berry i believe is the new uh, powerhouse there at ben rick and doing some great great things um, so this doesn't represent her work, but it's nice stuff. Thanks for joining me here down in the nook and uh, hope you guys are having a good weekend. Hopefully I can find some time tomorrow to do a few samples. You take care.